All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about something called a specific gravity, which is really simple. Um, it is the specific gravity of a particular uh, you know, piece of, uh, or an object, I guess, is the object's density divided by the density of water. Now, this is a dimensionless quantity, obviously dividing density by density. The uh, units cancel out, and you're left with basically nothing, so... Um, but it is a ratio, and it does uh, it is kind of important. Um, you can use it for a couple of different things. I know you can use it to, to calculate concentrations and stuff, but what I use it for personally, since I'm uh, uh, big into you know coins and coin collecting, I actually use it to test whether a coin is actually pure silver or not, um, basically whether it's fake. And so the specific gravity of silver is actually a tabulated value. Actually, if you think about it, um, you know, most pure substances have a tabulated specific gravity. And so if you can calculate the density of a particular object that in, in question, you know, you, ca you calculate its mass and you calculate the volume, then you know the density and you can uh, compare that to the density of water and you get a, uh, a ratio which can, be, um, which can be checked on a table and if it coincides with the specific gravity of a pure substance, in, in my case, silver, uh, if it's close or equal to that number, then I know pretty, you know, without without question, it's probably silver. Um, if it's not, then I know something's going on, and I have to, uh, you know, uh, do some further tests to uh, try and figure out what's going on. But yeah, so uh, th this is really easy, and it does have applications, and it's just really simple to calculate. The only problem is calculating the um, volume or mass of a particular object in question. So hopefully this helped, and um, really easy to calculate uh, again. So uh, we will see you all in the next video.